It's pretty sad to know we can't trust companies to respect their own properties. They release remaster after remaster and remake after remake, hoping to get us to open our wallets because of nostalgia, but Activision Blizzard's got a terrible reputation right now. Multiple lawsuits, they've had to fire tons of lead developers of games, and no one really trusts them right now. But a few months ago, we found out Diablo 2 Resurrected was going to be censored. It was going to have a bunch of censored content in it, unfortunately. But the design director for the game came out trying to defend it by saying they didn't want to have characters in the game who looked like they rolled out of a nightclub. Before we get into the topic at hand, though, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or supporting via memberships. All of the links are in the description. And of course, I do really appreciate all of the support. I have a couple of different articles that I want to read, but the first one says, Blizzard addresses Amazon's masculine look in Diablo 2 Resurrected. So hot on the heels of a lawsuit on top of numerous allegations of harassment and discrimination, Activision Blizzard has taken steps to do better, such as changing McCree's totally offensive name. Now, if you don't know about this situation, it says developer Blizzard has announced it will rename beloved character McCree from Overwatch, as the gunslinger's name was actually based on a developer who was let go due to a harassment allegation, and I personally think them renaming him is pretty ridiculous. We're talking about a name of a character. We're not talking about personality traits in the character that we're supposed to represent the real person with the name. We're just talking about a name. I personally think it's pretty dumb that they're changing it because they think it's offensive now. But it says the Amazon and Sorceress from the Diablo 2 remaster has naturally gotten swept up in the calamity as well. And Blizzard has finally addressed why the Amazon a design was changed to be more masculine looking. I think the characters in this remaster actually look pretty terrible. They all just look so masculine, not feminine at all. They just look bad. It says, um, in response to criticism over what some people are calling a male Amazon, the design director explained how he wanted the characters to not look like people who rolled out of a nightclub. I wanted to quickly show the censorship and one of the original articles. It says Diablo 2 Remaster censors Amazon's butt and sorceress underboob. I personally like when characters look feminine, they look sexy, they look strong. I don't think that you have to dumb down down characters to look more masculine or realistic in a video game. We're talking about fictional characters here. Does it matter if they're wearing something skimpy? No. Does it matter if you can slightly see their underboob? In my opinion, no. I think that it's ridiculous that they're censoring a game that only adults are playing. It says, in typical Blizzard fashion, an early look at the upcoming Diablo 2 remaster has revealed the sexiness of the female classes have been toned down, resulting in the Amazon having her butt covered up while the underboob of the sorceress has vanished. Here is, um... The new version of the character, as you can see, she's a little bit more covered up now. She's, you know, not as sexy as she once was. As you can see, this is the original character design. Clearly, the newer one does look good. It looks higher quality, but at the same time, her outfit's toned down. And along with all of these outfit changes, they did decide to change the faces of characters like the Amazon that a lot of people are not very impressed with. She looks very masculine now. She kind of looks like a man. But his explanation as to why they changed the character designs is truly ridiculous. He said a lot of those points of views weigh very heavily on us. Though he says her revamp for the new game was primarily due to an effort to make all of the characters look more like warriors who battled hell demons rather than people who rolled out of a nightclub. 
Unfortunately, it seems like Diablo is just a series that in 2021 can't be what it once was. Things like violence, gore, the attractiveness of characters are all toned down in Blizzard's new games, and Diablo Resurrected isn't exempt from that list of censored games. They're toning down characters' outfits because they originally looked like characters who rolled out of a nightclub. I mean, what kind of excuse is this? It is absolutely ridiculous, and they're saying things like, we didn't want them to look like they rolled out of a nightclub, but it's okay if they look more masculine because they're warriors who battled hell demons. What does it matter if they're in sexy outfits, if they're in skimpier outfits? Does it matter they're fictional characters? And of course, a lot of people are really upset with this. We're talking about adults being forced to deal with censored, toned-down content because, oh no, a character was showing a little bit too much under boob for Blizzard. People were saying things like, we finally get a male Amazon. What a handsome man. Thanks, Blizz, for reminding us that there are strong, ugly women in the ARPG world. I've talked about this a lot lately, but I hate the mentality that Hollywood and also the gaming industry has. It's like sexy females can't also be strong females. If you're a strong female, you have to look like an ab, you have to look muscular, you have to look manly. I personally hate that. I think that sexy, attractive characters can also be really strong. I came here exclusively for jokes about the man face, and someone said the best William Dafoe commercial ever. Good job, Blizzard. A lot of people are dunking on Blizzard right now, and I completely understand why. I personally was really excited for Resurrected to come out. I think that graphically it looks beautiful, but unfortunately they're censoring and toning down characters, and I don't want to support censorship. But I also wanted to share this article because it also has to do with the um, interview that this quote was originally taken from. It says, Diablo 2 Resurrected Dev, folks deciding if they'll buy it should do what they feel is right. In an interview on September 17th, the design director on the upcoming Diablo 2 remake explained that folks trying to decide if they should buy the game should do what they feel is right. Many players don't want to support Activision Blizzard after the recent lawsuits were made public against them. Diablo 2 Resurrected is the first major release from Blizzard since all of the lawsuits were filed against them, which I've talked about in previous videos. But the design director literally says, do what you feel is right. If you don't like it, don't buy it. It is terrible marketing to say, well, if you don't feel good about buying the game, then don't buy it. They should want as many people purchasing it as possible. I just don't don't know why he'd come out and say this. I understand that they're basically trying to comfort people, saying, well, if you just don't feel comfortable, you don't have to buy it. But at the same time, you're part of a company that wants to make money. I'm personally really disappointed in this situation because a lot of this game does look really, really good. Diablo 2 is an amazing game. A lot of people were really excited to support this project. But I hate supporting a game that's censored, especially when the design director is saying, oh, we changed things because we didn't want characters who looked like they rolled out of a nightclub. That is an absolutely terrible reason to censor and change and tone down character designs. Blizzard, this this is not okay. You're ruining the love that so many people have for your franchises, and you're dividing your player base because all censorship matters. Someone might look at this and go, it's just an outfit, it's just a face, does it really matter? But if you give these companies an inch, they take a mile. I talk about as much censorship as I can, and Blizzard definitely has a lot of censorship going on with their games lately. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way. But I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.